Hello, welcome to Management Information Systems, BHA322. My name is Oscar Sistrunk. I'm Professor Sistrunk, and I'll be teaching this class. Today, we're going to, I have a pre recorded class. This class is recorded and on the web on the YouTube channel, it's also connected to our blog. So, you should have received in class today a flyer telling you to go to a website and then watch this video. So this class, I will discuss everything about this class or this course and I also will be giving an exam next week based on everything I talk about today. So you'll need to watch this probably twice just to make sure you get everything. But let's go ahead and get started. Here's the outline for today's class. I'm going to talk a little bit about myself. We're going to talk about the course blog, the syllabus, a few websites, Schoolology, which is the course online gradebook, Class Marker, which is the course online exam, Screenomatic, which is the course video tool. It's what I'm using now to record this class, and YouTube where I'll be storing these videos. We'll also talk about next week, both Monday, August 25th, and Wednesday, August 27th. Just want to remind you, there will be an online exam based on this material. I'll discuss the exam Wednesday, August 27th, and um, at that point, probably make it available for you to take. This exam will be based on this video and the PowerPoint presentation, which is kind of our outline. So first about me, I'm from New Jersey, came to Morehouse, golly, I can't believe it, 40 years ago this month, and graduated in May of 1978 with a degree in, in accounting, and then graduated in 1980 with an MBA in finance from Georgia State. I started working at Morehouse back in 1980, created both the, this course, the MIS course, and the entrepreneurship class. Here's what's needed for the class. You will need to bring a laptop, tablet, or smartphone to every class. This is a paperless class, so everything is in the cloud, everything is digital. Also, needed for every class, you need to review the blog before each class. Here's the uh, blog, it's at www.hba322.info, which is where you went to and found this. It's the Management Information Systems, HBA322 for fall of 2014. If there's an issue before class, you can uh, text me at this number. 404-509-0533 or you can email me at this gmail account you must complete this form we'll talk about this in further detail but if there's an issue before class of course I'll text you and email you but this is why you must complete this form like the one on the right and you need to do it this week so I can create an email and text database that I can use to communicate with you. So again, you will see uh, at the, blo the blog post, and we'll talk about this some further, but you'll see a form that you need to submit. The blog. Everything is at the course blog. Review the blog guide, which has the directions for submitting your blog post and comments to other posts. A blog calendar which will be created which will give you the date for each student to submit their post let's go to the uh, course blog right now okay make sure I'm at the right place bum, bum, bum. thought this was it Alright, 
today. I want to go through this and explain to you. Again, everything is located here for class. As you can see, I will always update this and tell you for the next class where the class is or what the class is. In this case, it's a pre-recorded class and the subject. And today, it's the first day of class. This, as you probably know, is a post. And this post is about the first class. Over here on the right, we have a calendar. This calendar has every, all the information for every class in this course. All the way down to the last day of class. So you can in some cases click on it it'll tell you what's going on for example on Monday December 1st we're going to do 3d printing and I'm going to bring in a 3d printer it's a traditional class meaning we will be in the classroom if you want to know about multiple regression this class is on November 17th and it will be as a YouTube video it's a pre-recorded class so you can always find out what's going on based on this calendar. I'll keep it up to date and sometimes changes will be made, I'll let you know. Going further down are what we call student tools. These are tools that we'll be using in class and I'll talk more about them later on in, in this tutorial or this class. We have class marker, which is the where you will take your online exams. The YouTube page for the course that has these videos, where these videos are located. All the pre-recorded videos will be there. Schoolology, and we'll talk about this code. But Schoolology is the online grade book, so you'll be able to always check and know how you're doing in the class. Screenomatic is what I'm using right now, and Ustream. Ustream is the, uh, uh, we use it for online presentations. You might not be using it that much this semester. Next, important student information. I put a couple of links here. This is a link that students like every semester. It's how to beat speeding tickets. If you have a speeding ticket, you can click on this link. It'll take you to some information I have on how to beat speeding tickets credit repair book I have a credit repair book I used to use in my entrepreneurship class and if any of you have problems or issues with credit you can download this book it's free also the course syllabus which is a must read and we're going to talk about that today the student blog guide which is a must read that we're going to talk about today an example of an A blog post you're going to have to write each student each one of you are going to have to write a blog post to put on this blog and if you want to see what an A looks like you can click on this next we'll have a student blog post calendar this is a calendar that will have everybody's date in which they're supposed to submit a blog post right now it's inactive because I don't have everybody in the class yet but once I do then we'll have a calendar and that calendar will probably be added to our overall calendar so you'll see everybody's name and when their post is due next Excel we have 10 Excel homework assignments right now they're all inactive because they don't become active until we get to them but these are the 10 that we're going to do tricks tips and tricks learn about functions and some of you may be pretty good at Excel you know this but others don't and uh, we want to go through that then we're going to do tables pivot tables charts fusion tables v and h lookup linear regression multiple regression and macros this is our video stream when uh, i if i have live video that's going on you'll be able right now as you can see it's off air but you'll be able to go oscar sistrunk and watch my stream uh, that's going on Next, free web tools. These are all different websites and resources that we're going to talk about throughout the semester. And the blog 
archive where you can go and basically you have your um, sort of like a table of contents so you can go back and you can check something as you know the main part of the blog are the posts and the posts are on this left side here this one the post today talk welcome to the first day of class and here's your assignment first you're watching this video then I want you to fill out this form below and submit it to me. I have embedded a copy of the PowerPoint slide I'm using today right here and just a reminder there'll be an exam on this information within the video and well really about the video and the slide presentation. get back to our presentation so again everything is there on the blog course also I'm gonna need you to and we'll look at this we'll review the blog guide which has directions for submitting your information and I talked about the blog calendar but I need to create that after I get the information from your from the students or from you let's look at the syllabus that's the most important thing there's a link here for the syllabus and if you remember there's a link for the syllabus right here so you can always come back to the blog and there is the syllabus all right again if we want to go to the syllabus let's click on that and it will open a three-page syllabus for us so let's go over the syllabus again you're going to need this because you're going to take a test on it I'm going to test you on this this is MIS if you need to you can download this as you can see here you can print it out or you can download it and have a copy for yourself but this is course HBA 322 management information systems Division Economics and Business, Department Management. And uh, this course has been updated to cover, cover management information systems in the cloud environment. How do companies and individuals manage data, information, and knowledge in a cloud-based economy? So what I want you to learn, I want you to learn how existing companies are re-engineering themselves to compete in a new digital age. We'll have hands-on Excel work. Because if you know, or if you don't know, you need to know that you're going to have to know Excel to but work in the corporate environment. And even if not, I've had many students who've used the Excel knowledge from this class to help them in their own business. We'll also, of course, learn how to use the cloud-based technology in the course. And finally, as I said earlier, this is a paperless class with all work in the cloud. Uh, prerequisite you need to see the student handbook the classes are Monday and Wednesday they're 75 minutes long they're three sessions uh, the leadership this room is incorrect that's my uh, the room from my office that room is ch the room for the class has changed it's what 242 or something like that there is no textbook but there'll be a set of readings available on the internet there will be YouTube videos to watch and Kindle books. I usually will have you download the free versions of the books. But if you don't have a Kindle app on your mobile device, you need to get it. And then that way when it's time to download those books, you can do that. Additional time is required for homework and those online exams. Here's a list of the learning outcomes. You can read that later. Let me get to the important thing, which are the grading standards. As I said here, all your grades will be online at school, school, I call it Schoolology, but I think it's Scott, school, I called it one time, I can't remember how they pronounce it, but anyway, I'm going to call it Schoolology.com. And it has a code, and you can get that code from our website. Remember, uh, if you go to the blog, you'll see a little code right here and I'm going to show you later on how to use that code to open up your Schoolology account 
The grade scale is pretty basic. I go A, B, C, D, and F. I don't do pluses and minuses. Grades are pretty easy. Determination. Every item that I grade goes towards your final grade. What I mean by that is everybody starts with a zero. And then as you complete work and get graded, the, po the points add up. So there are going to be 24 points for attendance because there are only going to be eight classes this semester that you're going to need to attend. The rest of them are all going to be on the web so you can take those classes from anywhere and anytime during the day. But for the eight classes that we will meet, you'll get three points for attending those classes for a total of 24 points. There are going to be nine pre-recorded classes which are similar to this and you'll get two points for every exam that you take on these pre-recorded classes for a total of 18 points there are 10 excel homeworks you get three points for each excel homework for a total of 30 points then you have blog comments and we'll talk more about this but there's a total of nine comments each comment is worth two points. There are no more than three comments per month. So you get three in September, three in October, three in November. You make those comments, and uh, that's a total of nine times two. You get 18 points. You also have to do a student blog post. You'll be able to see the student guide. We talked about that, where it's located. Here it is, student blog guide, must read. So we'll talk more about that. But all that adds up to 100 points. There are no unexcused absences. Will not be accepted because most of everything that you do is on the web and available 24-7. So if you couldn't make class, and remember, we're only going to have eight traditional classes. But you, you, you have a period of time to get that work done. Students who miss the class are expected to keep up through the course blog, the pre-recorded classes, the remote access classes, if we have any, that's what Ustream is for, the PowerPoint presentations, and other options available as noted on the blog post. Uh, the course blog, excuse me. See the course blog for directions to access the class remotely. Sometimes the college Wi-Fi doesn't make this possible, and that's why I've moved away from it because uh, there's just not enough bandwidth and it really slows down during the middle of the day. All exams are take home. They're online with instant grading or you're going to submit some YouTube videos doing what I'm, I'm doing now. So that's the syllabus. There's some more which deals with the policy, and then reaching out to me. My office is in 225 Leadership Center. The old school way is you can come to my office by appointment only. The new school is that you can text me at 404-509-0533, or you can make an appointment on Skype or Uvu. My name on both of those is the same, and we can use those tools to, to talk. So here's my texting phone number here's the email if you want to email me you can email me here and then of course at the blog so you can reach me 24 7 so there's no excuse saying I couldn't find Professor Sistron all right let's move on that's the syllabus next is schoolology see if I can move this thing over here I have, this is Schoolology, as I said early, earlier, the Schoolology is a grade book, it's online, and you can register now using that code TJSSBN4VX6, 
you can follow your progress in the class. If I make an error, send me an email with proof uh, that there is an error and I definitely will correct it. Let's go to Schoolology. If you need to sign up, you just click, well, you will need to sign up. You click the button and you're a student. Click on the student. It asks for that access code. Put the access code in and then you can continue and it will link you to the class. I'm going to go ahead and um, log in so that you can see what it looks like. Because everything is set up. Let's see. Oh, there it goes. Of course, I can't remember what my password is. All right. Oh, man, I just tested this thing. What did I do wrong? Alright, see if I can go in under mine. Alright, here it is. I did something wrong. Anyway, this is a dummy person I've got set up here. Now, once you're in, you go to courses and you select this course which is the only one you're going to see for my class and you go to grades and you have here a list of all the grades that are going to be for the or all the assignments for the semester Let's, these all relate to that the syllabus we talked about remember there are going to be eight classes these are the dates um, and I don't know why there's two thirteens, but there's a mistake. Three, six, seven, eight. So let's see. October 27th, 13th. There's something in there that's wrong, but I'll make that correction while I'm thinking about it. Let's see. December 10th, the 27th is in there. The 13th, the 29th, the 15th, September 10th. So September 10th is missing. I'll put that in there. But those are the three, six, seven, eight. I got two October 13th. One of them is going to be a scum of September 10th. Next are the exams from the pre recorded classes that are going to occur. Here's the exam that you're going to have for the course outline. If you, once you take the exam, it'll automatically grade it, and then I'll put that grade right here and you'll have up to two points. So if you take if you take that exam next week, and if you get 100, you'll end up with two points here. If you get a 50, you'll end up with one point there. And you'll be able to total up all these points, and the closer you get to a, a, a 90, the closer you get to an A. But these are all of the classes that will be that I'll be teaching under, under the pre-recorded classes. Excel homework, here are the 10 homework assignments. Remember, they're three points each. The blog comments. You have September, October, November, three each. So you get one point for each one. And it'll be done, and then you get 10 points for your blog post. 
and you add all of this up, it should equal 100. And that's what you do with uh, Schoolology. we do that the next one is class marker all exams will be online at class classmarker.com there will be multiple choice questions and you'll be given a window of time to take the exam that time and normally the exam will be on for many days maybe three or four days and you can stop and start the exam anytime during that open period however once the time is over there is no makeup you'll receive an email later this week or next telling you how to set up your class marker account once you get the email set it up it's free but uh, remember in order to get this email from class marker you must fill out that form that we talked about earlier so you must fill out that form by I mean for you know the one that we have in our, our post for today Well, before I go to screen matic let's go to uh, class marker so we can see what we're talking about. Let's hope this thing will let me in. I wrote down. the username and password and uh, now this one is my account let me see if I can get this one for Let me go in my way. All right, in here are the exams and the tests that you would take. We're in fall of 2014. Got one member here. Very handsome. Okay. I gotta try one more time. Okay, so once you're you have it set up, when you log in, it'll look like this. Here's an exam that's already set up for Mr. Hansen, or in case for you. It is an exam that says it's available starting Tuesday, August of 2014, 12 a.m., and it will last until September 23rd, 2014 at 12 a.m. So in this case, you've got over a month, about five weeks to take this exam. You only can take it once, but you can start and stop. So if I click and I want to take it, it tells you the number of questions, no time limit except for what we talked about in terms of days. Number of attempts, you can have one attempt at it. It'll display one question at a time. You can save and finish anytime, and it'll allow you to go back and change your answers. It will not let you finish with any question unattempted. 
I, I did that because a lot of students would go in and skip questions and then forget to go back and answer them. So now you've got to answer a question. You can always go back and change it, but you've got to answer it. So it has a passing grade of 70. So let's say if we start, it asks here is the question, in Japan they are making school day longer. Does Mr. and Mrs. Topper think that this will help make Japanese students more creative? If I just don't, if I don't answer it and click, it'll come back and say, question unanswered, you must answer it. So I'll say yes. Then it'll let me go on to the next one. Who pushed for the creation of our current school system? Business, government, farmers, or workers? I'll just say workers. Next. And if I need to, I can also go back and look at previous questions. Right? So I can go back and kind of say, all right, let me go back and just see how things are going. Uh, so let me go next. Oh, I forgot to answer that question. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Toffler believe that the current public school system can be fixed. I'll say no. Move on to question number four. Uh, you know, I think I'll finish this thing later. I can click. Confirm, finish later. And it says, your test progress is saved and you can go back so I can log out and then if I go back in you see it says instead of start resume so I click on resume go click resume it brings me back to question number four and I can go back if I need to to answer one of the other questions that I found out were wrong Right? So that's class marker. Pretty easy. You've got 24-hour period in which to take the, the exam. So it does not matter if you want to take the exam 2 in the morning, 5 in the morning, 7 in the afternoon. It's up to you. You can start it and you can stop it. So that's class marker. Next is screenomatic, And that's what I'm using now. And I currently have a pro version, meaning I pay for it. But you can go ahead and use the free version. Set up an account. It's free. And you'll need this later on this in the semester. But I'm not going to get into it. It's just called Screenomatic. Set up an account. YouTube. Again, you're going to need to have your own YouTube account. And the reason I say that is you may already have a YouTube account. Uh, I recommend a separate one for this class because you'll be sharing with others. And you may not want me or other students seeing everything you do on your YouTube channel or YouTube video that you may have. So sometimes if you're going to make it public, you might make everything public. So it's best to go ahead and just set up an account for this class and then that way once the class is over if you want to you can get rid of it but if not if you got a YouTube channel you, you can use that next week Monday the 25th on 2014 we're gonna have a pre-recorded class on gratification if you go to the b course blog uh, you'll see it and it'll tell you what to do. There'll be a pre-recorded section. There'll be the PowerPoint presentation and probably some other videos to watch. Wednesday, August 27th, which is next week, that will be the first traditional class. Again, it's not room 225. That's my office number. I think it's room 242, but you need to check just to make sure. You, you're, you might be sitting in it right now. But we'll meet there at a regular class time. I'll lecture on that day. And I'm also going to talk about the exam on the first two pre-recorded classes. Because there's also going to be an exam for this class on Monday, August 25th. So I'll have both of those exams set up. The one for August 20th, which is today. And then the one for Monday, August 25th. And once you set up your 
uh, I'll set up your class marker account, then you'll be able to uh, take those exams. Remember, in order to uh, get your class marker account, you've got to fill out that uh, form. See if I've got a copy of that form. Here it is. Remember, we talked about this form, which is on our blog right down here the bottom of the page just fill this out put your name last name your email address you want to use your cell phone number and which is the fastest way you want to communicate with me by text or email and then tell me your cell phone carrier if it's not one of these top these six then just put in here whatever your name of your carrier and then submit it to me that'll be it and I'll get that information and get everything to you we'll also be setting up a reminder system so you will be receiving either by email or as a text message on your cell phone a reminder every day throughout the semester of what's due when so you should be e it should be easy for you to keep up with what's going on in the class that's something new that I'm adding this semester the one good thing I like teaching with teaching this class, I add something new every semester. So we're going to have a reminder system. You've got a calendar right here that's going to keep track of what's going on the whole semester, along with clicking on and getting details. Right? So if you can read about everything that's going on. I don't think there's too much else that I want to talk about today. And I think you've got a pretty good idea. So the exam that I'm going to I'm going to give next week concerning this presentation will be based on anything that I just talked about here in the last 40 minutes. So it it could be about the syllabus. And there is one more thing I want to talk about and that is the blog guide. Let me click on the blog guide and bring it up. This is the blog guide. We're going to have this blog for the course. And you are required to post a article. Or you're supposed to write an article. Let's put it that way. You write an article. And it will be posted on the blog for everybody to see. And then all the students and me will comment on the various topics that are brought up. So it's a way for us to talk about some things. In here on the blog post, I will provide you with the date that your blog post is due. Use your email to create the blog. In other words, you know, you can use a word processor and then paste it into your email message area. But your blog post can include links and photos. The subject line of your email will be the subject of the post. So if you want to do something concerning Google Chrome, then in your email, you might want to put uh, in the subject line that, that you, you're doing a subject, uh, you know, you're doing uh, something on Google Chrome. The first line of your email inside the message should be your complete name preceded by the word by. So, for example, it might say, by John Wilson. And that should be the first line on the email, so that will show up. That way I know who you are, and you can get credit. Sometimes students don't put their names on anything, and then they're not going to get any credit for it. The subject of your blog can be about the recent class, a speaker we might have, class discussions, additional information you'd like to bring in, some a business idea that you might have. Keep the comments clean and keep, keep, keep the hating to a minimum. I would like to see positive or helpful criticism. You can also add article links, photos, and video links inside of your post in that email. Depending on if you're using uh, Gmail or Yahoo or AOL, then you just have to place them inside. Once you finish your blog, spell check it and check it for grammar. And then email your finished blog in the send to 
put this email address, osistrunk.fall2014 at blogger.com. And that will send it to the blog. So it's osistrunk.fall2014 at blogger.com. I'll review the post once it comes in and then activate it. Once a post is activated on our blog, everybody will get an email or a text message letting you know that a new blog post has been added. To add comments, you will receive not one, it's now two points for each comment that uh, receives a passing grade. You can receive up to two points, up to, excuse me, up to nine points for the semester. Really, because it's two points each, it's now 18 points. So I'm going to make those changes. You can make as many comments as you like, but only the first three of every month will count. You can go here to the blog site. Now, to read blog posts created by your classmates and or professors, and then write a comment. To post a comment, you must be logged in first. I'm going to show you that. Let's do that right now. So we'll remember. Okay, let's go. For example, if I want to make a comment on this blog post, let me go ahead. Right now it says no comment. I want to make a comment. You can go in and you can make a comment. Whatever it is. I like this uh, course already. Now, the problem is you're not logged in because it, does, it just says if I go here to publish, it's going to come in, and now what it did is it found my Gmail account as Hannibal Group. And it logged me in. So if you remember before, we had in here that it just, it, it didn't have a name or anything. But Google automatically logged me into my account. So if you have a Google account, it'll log you in. And then that way you can post your comment. I don't screen comments. But you can also use LiveJournal. If you have WordPress, TypePad, uh, Instant Messaging. Or open ID, which works with a lot of other sites. So you may have uh, some other sites that you can log in by. I don't know if Facebook and Twitter support open ID, but you could find out, and if so, you can use that. But if you got a Gmail account, which is the best way to do it, then you go ahead and uh, put in your comments. So now I go in here, I like. publish and there it is now of course you see the problem I already got it's got a, a spell problem in there I saw that wiggly line so you may want to go in I'm a, I can delete that comment because I'm the uh, administrator okay but if I wasn't the administrator that's why it's important to make sure, and it says here, this comment has been removed by the author, which is me. But you've got to be logged in. So if I sign out again, notice I'm signed into Google, so that's why it's automatically logging me in. So I have a Google account. I like this course. Publish. Um, I'm, now it gives me the option. I'm going to log in as myself.
comes back, has me in as the Hannibal group. So you got to be, now I can put that message back in there. If I sign out, This time I'm going to go in under my uh, MIS Fall 2014 email address. And then now you see it says Oscar Sistrunk on here, which is good. You want to make sure that the name that appears here, your account, that I understand who that is. Because if it said Hannibal Group, I wouldn't know who Hannibal Group is, so you may have done a comment and you won't get any credit for it. So use your Gmail account, prop the one that's tied into this course. When I, when you when I asked you to fill out this form, I asked you to put in an email address. So if it's a Gmail email, you know, if it's Gmail, then that's the one that you want to use and log in under. Because I just don't know who Pimp Daddy at Yahoo.com is. Go back. All right. So that's it for today. Again, you can go back and watch this video again if you want. Uh, study the different parts that we talked about. Remember, we went over what you need in the class. Of course, about me. Uh, what you need in the class, how to get in contact with me, complete that form about the blog, and we went over everything in the blog, about the syllabus, we went through the syllabus, we went through Schoolology, and remember, this is the code that you're going to need. We also class marker. I cannot send you this, this email that you're going to get from class marker. I need to get your email address. Once you send me that form, then I'll be able to send you the email so you can log in to Class Market. Talked about Screenomatic. We'll get into more detail on that later. YouTube account. You may want to set up your own YouTube account because you're going to have to do some of these videos yourself. And you need a place to put them. I recommend a separate one for this class so that you're not sharing other intimate information to everybody else. And then next week to do classes. Right. So again, thank you very much. This, this took about 50 minutes. Try not to ramble. Try to get this stuff to you so that you can uh, watch it and move on. I suggest you may watch it again. And then when you take the exam online, you can use it or at least use the PowerPoint to take the exam. Thank you very much. Uh, the next class will be Monday, August 25th. There will be another pre-recorded class about gratification. And then I'll physically be in on Wednesday, next Wednesday, in the traditional class. Not in room 225, but I think that's 242. And I'll lecture that day, and we'll set up everything about, talk about the uh, two exams. Thank you very much. Have a good day.